In the realm of spiritual traditions, the figure of Jesus weaves a narrative that transcends conventional interpretations. The Gospel of Truth offers a profound perspective on Jesus, intertwining seamlessly with the depiction of Jesus in John's Gospel and Paul's letter to the Colossians. These texts collectively present a vision of Jesus that emphasizes the pleroma, the fullness of divine reality, and the essential truth that salvation lies in remembering our inherent divinity. In John's Gospel, Jesus is portrayed as the Logos, the divine word through whom all things were made. This echoes the profound idea in the Gospel of Truth that Jesus came to reveal the hidden knowledge, the Gnosis, which restores us to our true divine nature. Jesus, as the Logos, embodies the Pleroma, the fullness of divine presence, bringing light into the world and dispelling the darkness of ignorance. This ignorance is not the result of sin in the traditional sense, but rather a forgetfulness of our divine origin and essence. Paul's letter to the Colossians similarly emphasizes the preeminence of Christ in all things. He describes Jesus as the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation in whom all things hold together. This Christological vision aligns with the gospel of truth's portrayal of Jesus as the revealer of the divine mystery, the one who reconnects us with the Pleroma. Paul speaks of the mystery hidden for ages but now revealed to the saints, Christ in you, the hope of glory. This notion reinforces the idea that salvation is about awakening to the divine presence within us, recognizing our unity with the source of all creation. Genesis 1.31 declares that God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. This foundational affirmation of the goodness of creation challenges the notion of original sin as a fundamental flaw in humanity. Instead, the fall can be understood as a fall into forgetfulness, a necessary aspect of our earthly journey that allows us to fully experience the richness of life. This experiential sojourn, marked by moments of forgetfulness and remembrance, is integral to our growth and spiritual awakening. The concept of salvation, therefore, is reimagined as an awakening from forgetfulness. Jesus in this light is the great illuminator who helps us remember our divine nature. His teachings and life demonstrate the way back to the Pleroma, to the fullness of divine reality. This remembrance is not about escaping a world tainted by sin, but about realizing the divine spark within us and recognizing that consciousness is foundational to reality. There is but one creative source and we are intimately connected to it. This understanding of Jesus and salvation resonates deeply with the idea that consciousness is the bedrock of reality. Quantum physics and various mystical traditions suggest that consciousness is not a mere byproduct of the physical universe but the very foundation of existence. This perspective aligns with the teachings of Jesus as presented in the Gospel of Truth, John's Gospel, and Paul's letter to the Colossians. The divine consciousness, the Logos, is the creative force that permeates all things, and awakening to this truth is the essence of salvation. Moreover, this view of Jesus fits well within an eclectic and syncretistic spirituality. Throughout history, spiritual seekers have drawn wisdom from various traditions, recognizing the underlying unity in the diversity of spiritual expressions. The teachings of Jesus, as understood through the lens of the Gospel of Truth and other mystical texts, harmonize with the insights of other spiritual masters. Whether it is the Buddha's emphasis on enlightenment, Krishna's teachings on the eternal soul, or the Sufi mystic's devotion to divine love, there is a common thread of awakening to our true nature and the divine presence within and around us. Eclectic spirituality embraces this synthesis, seeing the divine message in many forms and recognizing that all paths ultimately lead to the same truth. Jesus' message in this context is not confined to a single religious tradition, but is a universal call to remember our divine essence. The Pleroma, the fullness of divine reality, is accessible to all who seek it, transcending the boundaries of religious dogma and inviting a deeper, more inclusive understanding of spirituality. In conclusion, the figure of Jesus, as portrayed in the Gospel of Truth, John's Gospel and Paul's letter to the Colossians 
offers a profound and transformative vision of salvation. This salvation is not about escaping sin, but about awakening from forgetfulness and remembering our divine nature. It is about recognizing that consciousness is the foundation of reality and that we are intimately connected to the one creative source. This understanding fits seamlessly with an eclectic and syncretistic spirituality, drawing wisdom from various traditions and recognizing the universal call to awaken to the pleroma, the fullness of divine reality. Jesus' message is a timeless and universal invitation to remember who we truly are and to live in the light of that profound truth. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.